that I would tell my 23 year old self to know who you are to know your value to know your value some people take this lightly but I'll give you an example why would a woman a girl in school pursuing a wonderful education who's you know destiny is sure you can see she's a good performer she has everything that she requires to be a success in this world why would she get to a level one day of compromising to a place of saying i think let me try to take over that woman's husband and they went quiet what's that thing in her that can't tell her that you have enough value in you to wait for yours do you get it what's in the mind of a young man who would compromise if they are told you know you're working in this organization and we can pay you 70 million so you can help us defraud this organization and the young man says yes it's value What's in the mind of that young man who was given school fees and the other day I had it was it Professor Walunywa? They did a research, I think, in Macquarie University and they were researching why we're seeing a lot of dropouts in university. And it was confirmed through research that about a thousand students every year do not graduate because they are gambling. What's in the brain of that young man who would get their fees and take it into a casino? And bet it on something and lose it all like what's in his head if you search that person they really don't know their value their true value there's something about knowing who you are i tell people all my life i never went to club not because i was a very good person not because i was more righteous than everyone but there was always something that told me that i'm not that kind of person i just thought you know, some of my friends tried weed, cigarettes, alcohol, but I never did it. Because there was just something in me that always told me that the, the person, this there's something on my life that can't allow me to do that. Now, I'm not judging or criticizing those who are weak because no man is perfect in the flesh. But I'm only trying to say there's something so powerful about firstly knowing your value. At what price can you be bought? At what price can you be compromised? At what price can you sell your family? Can you sell your children? Because there's a price. How many people have you heard? Some of you in African societies have seen this where a person says, we're going to give you all the wealth. Give us your child. And a man, without any hesitation, gives over their firstborn as teraphim or sacrifice. That kind of man, if you get into his heart, he has no hope of making wealth except to kill his own child. When you know your value, there's a confidence. It stars in you. There's a certain affirmation that you carry that you don't need to hear the praises of men for you to stand. Neither their criticisms. I don't live by criticism, no praise. I live by that indelible mark that God can... The Bible calls that treasure in earthen vessels. Now listen, that the excellence of power may be of God and not of us. Again, excellency has come here because you know that you carry certain treasure. You know who you are. You know your value. If you make mistakes along the way, but you know your value, you're different from a man who makes those mistakes and doesn't know their value. There's probably somebody who got pregnant in school, made their, they, you know, aligned themselves back, went back to school. Yes, you made your mistake, but you know your value. But there's one who actually doesn't understand what I'm saying. However, when this confidence comes also, the pendulum swings on the place of also understanding how to balance that with humility. To be great and to stay humble. Because some of the people who are destroyed in life and not necessarily people who did not know their value, but they are people who never carried the wisdom or enough judgment 
to design the humility that should come with their greatness and whatever they received in life became heavier than them and once it becomes heavier than you it devalues you even when you do not know you see what i'm saying the i'll give an example in football some of you watch football some of us who follow football there was a young man who was spoken about in manchester united he used to play for manchester he was a brazilian boy they brought him from brazil once and they brought him to manchester how many remember that young man what was his name carlos not anderson anderson performed robino thank you now robino one time they're interviewing another player in manchester united for those of you who don't follow football like my wife they're, they're interviewing they're interviewing another player in the same team and they are asking him uh if you were to give they were now asking him about robino as a player what was your feel about this player when he was still playing with a with a with a team and stuff like that and then this player retorted and said this was one of those men that was a hundred times more gifted than us but he never had time he 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 never had time to he never gave time to practice he was too proud he was a man who was too exalted he knew his gift all right so while his friends would go training this guy would chill in the bed because he knows he's going to come on the pitch and what to perform and because of that this fellow was one of the worst performing players even though he was one of the most gifted everybody saw his potential when he held the ball but they never see the effect the effectiveness of his gift because he never handled it in humility and humility is simply submitting to the principles and patterns as god has designed them to be in true judgment to know how to judge matters and and that humility sometimes some of you actually and i feel so sorry especially for the younger generation they're unteachable they're untrainable they're entitled they, 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 they want to when you hire him today he wants to be manager tomorrow you know and, and drive a, a range rover the next week you see they they, they 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 you can't correct them you're wrong they know better than you see what i'm saying eh? now to yes know your value but not carry the judgment that comes with the humility to know how to exercise both the value and the grace to handle it huh? to to know that i am great but this requires me to belittle myself to this extent if i must go to the next level and i think even as we're raising children i've shared with one parent here we must really emphasize that give our children a confident humility teach them confidence and to know who they are but also not let that consume them to a place where they feel that they're exalted above everybody else to not forget that they're actually human beings and they're also subject to the flaws of life to keep them humble 